Here we're given the graph of a line and asked to determine the equation of the line in slope-intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the vertical or y-intercept. So looking at the graph of the line, notice how it intersects or crosses the vertical or y-axis at this point here, and this point has coordinates 0, comma, negative 6. So because the vertical intercept or y-intercept is the point 0, comma, negative 6, for our equation we now know b equals negative 6. And now let's determine the slope of the line. There are several formulas that we can use to express the slope. Because we have the graph of the line, we can say the slope is equal to the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. So to determine the slope graphically, we can determine two points on the line, then determine the vertical and horizontal change. So let's go ahead and select this point, which happens to be the horizontal intercept, which has coordinates negative 4, comma, 0. And now we'll determine the vertical and horizontal change from the point on the left to the point on the right. We'll notice how we'd have to go down 6 units, and therefore the vertical change is negative 6. If we were to go up, the vertical change would be positive, and then from here we have to go right 4 units, and therefore the horizontal change is positive 4. If we move left, the horizontal change would be negative. So now we know the slope m equals, again, the vertical change divided by the horizontal change, which, which would be negative 6 divided by 4, or negative 6 fourths. This does simplify, though. There's a common factor of 2. Negative 6 fourths simplifies to negative 3 halves. So now we have all the information we need to write the equation, but let's also discuss another way that we can determine the slope of this line. The slope can also be expressed as the change in the output divided by the change in the input, where if y is the output and x is the input, which is our case, we can say the slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x expressed using this formula here, where the change in y can be found by determining the difference in the y-coordinates of two points on the line, and the change in x can be determined by finding the difference in the x-coordinates of two points on the line. So let's also show the slope using this formula here. To keep things organized, we'll call this point x sub 1 comma y sub 1, and this point x sub 2 comma y sub 2. So using the slope formula, we'd have m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 is negative 6 minus 0. x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is 0 minus negative 4. Notice how we get negative 6 fourths, which we already know is equal to negative 3 halves. So we get the same result in a slightly different way. So now to write the equation, we'll substitute negative 6 for b and negative 3 halves for m. So the equation in slope-intercept form is y equals negative 3 halves x. And then instead of writing plus negative 6, it's more common to just write minus 6. So for the homework, we enter m equals negative 3 halves and b equals negative 6. I hope you found this helpful.